What's up YouTube? I'm John Wheels and today we're going to be upgrading this Coleman CT200U EX mini bike engine to be an absolute beast. Alright, so these are all the parts I bought. Um, we got a knockoff 22mm Makuni carburetor. I got a uh, you know metal camshaft. I don't know if that's cast iron or steel, but it's better than the plastic gear one. Piston ring compressor. Billet aluminum flywheel so it doesn't explode. I got 1.3 to 1 ratio rockers, a muffler, and 7 degree flywheel advance keys. I also have some valve grinding compound to get the flywheel um, adjusted for the crankshaft and I also had to buy a um, torque wrench for the uh, rod when I go ahead and put it back on. So that this cast one doesn't fly apart, we're gonna install this cast aluminum one. Unfortunately, because uh, I have this aluminum flywheel, um, it doesn't have the magnetos, the magnets, for the um, charging coils. So that basically means that we're not gonna be able to run headlights on this bike, but it's a bike. So I mean, I'm not really going to be riding at night that much. Alright, so now we're going to take off these old uh, charging coils. I'll keep them around for any future builds as well as this uh, flyway with the magnets on. <laughs>
I got that uh, flywheel key out. Now I'm going to take this valve grinding compound, spread it out over the area, and now take my flywheel. Alright, so you can see the plastic cam gear. You can also probably um, see some of that metal in there. It's flaky, so we don't want to use that. That's why that magnetic oil pickup has been helpful. But it's uh, not good to find in the engine. That's a plastic cam gear. Who knows why they chose plastic, but we're gonna go ahead and put a steel one in there. some uh, ratio rockers I'll be rocking with some ratio rockers I'll loop those up a little bit and I don't think it matters which one goes on each side so just go on ahead and put these on here after we get some earl on there Cool, cool, cool. Now I can take these things, spin them down. Okay, so I traced out a template of the intake manifold and I got it taped up to some steel. So I'm going to um, center punch these holes and then somehow figure out uh, where to drill this center hole and then the corners can get rounded out with a, I mean squared out with a Dremel. All right, so I got this first one drilled out 
um, you can kind of see the marks of where it's going to be. And I've decided to go ahead and leave this bottom piece for the uh, to seal off the heat shielding a little bit. Kind of like how this piece has that same slant. I just went ahead and copied that and, and uh, put it down there. And then we got our exhaust uh, flange and then the uh, flange that will bolt up to the carburetor. So I did some measuring with the caliper and then center punched the holes. So now we're going to drill them. All right, so I finally went ahead and got all the holes drilled. That took a while. And I even drilled this little hole here uh, to line up with this vent on the carburetor right there. So next I can go ahead and cut these out. All right, so I got my intake manifold and exhaust pipe tacked up. So I actually uh, welded the exhaust because it doesn't matter as much. And also there was a bit of a gap. So I um, went ahead and welded that out. And then what I'm gonna do is run the TIG torch over it and smooth it all out. So it looks nice and pretty. Uh, and then I got intake manifold tacked up. And I also kind of matched, I did some port matching. So that's a nice smooth transition in there. All right, so I got some of these 55% nickel rods um, in 332. Uh, so we're gonna use those to weld the um, cast iron threaded portion to the exhaust pipe. All right, so I got it all assembled. Um, it uh, took me a while to figure this out, but it turns out that uh, on a Makuni carburetor, down is the run position and up is the choke. Um, I had that backwards, so I had a real tough time tuning this, but what ended up working for me was a 125 jet um, and then moving the little clip on the needle all the way to the bottom of the needle, so it's at its richest point um, as you accelerate. And this thing flies uh it's a lot of fun i got one of those nice foam filters and what you can see here is i turned the, the whole reason i made my own intake manifold was so i could get that bend on it so that way i can turn that carburetor and you can see it's barely sticking out um, and it's not going to interfere with my leg because if i had the original one this whole carburetor would be out here and that would look dumb and um, be likely to get knocked off or broken. All right, so I was having some uh, vacuum leak issues. So what I did here was put some uh, silicone right around that cable and that seemed to fix the problem. So if you're ever having weird idling problems and stuff, you can go ahead and try and put some of that gasket maker. All right, so um, one issue I'm having is when I go to start it, it seems like the compression release or something isn't working right. So thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below.